Hey guys, it's Colin Javay here with a software review for you of iOS 5. iOS 5 was just released at the WWDC Monday. And like with all softwares, they always release a beta preview. So please stay tuned while I go over some of the main features of this software. Alright, and one of the features that Apple did announce is their new notification system. And I know you remember in all the previous iOS softwares, there would be a little blue pop-up screen that would show up when you were in the middle of a task. So now they have changed it where it will pop up here at the top of the screen and I'll go ahead and show you how that works. I'll go to the App Store and I'm going to use this phone here to send a message. So go ahead and send. Then you'll notice here it'll be a notification. And you can see here is my text and then to respond I just tap. And there you go. Apple has also changed the way the notifications work on the lock screen. You know before there was a there was also a pop-up menu in the middle of the screen. Now the notifications will appear underneath the time bar and I will send another text to show you how that works. And it has sent then you'll see here the icon is blinking letting me know this is the latest notification and then to access the text you just slide to reply and then you are in messages one of the new features is called a notification center and how you access this is you take your finger and drag it down and then you'll see you have all of your notifications you also have your weather and your stocks and then, you know, if you have your Twitter or Facebook notifications, it'll all appear in this notification center. Newsstand allows you to view all of your magazine and book subscriptions here on the home screen. So to access Newsstand, you just tap on it and it opens like a folder. And I currently do not have any magazines or books in my newsstand. So you'll see here it says you can download magazines and newspapers in the App Store. And then there is a store button, but it is not active as of yet. Reminders is a to-do list that allows you to set time and dates and even locations to always let you know and never and you will never forget when or where you need to do something. So I will show you how this works. As you'll see here, I have my list. You can search reminders. You have a completed list that shows all of your completed activities. And then you have create new list. I'll go and click on create new list. I will name this list test. And if I click on the list, you'll see here I have an empty page. But on the empty page, I can add different items. And I'll write something simple like cereal. And then when you push done, you'll see here you have a checkbox. And when you have gotten that item, you can check the item. And if you go back to the completed list, you'll see we have completed. It gives you the date. And then you have serial, which I have now completed that task. And the way you activate the location reminders is you click on the item or task. You go to remind me and then either on a day or at location. And you just turn that on and then you can add a location. All right, and the next feature I'd like to go over is Twitter integration. Now, if you want to tweet a photo or a video or if you're in Safari and you would like to tweet a link, what you can do is you can click on options, tweet, and then you can tweet right in the app. So I'll show you how that works in photos. I'll click here, picture of iOS 5 running on my iPad. What I do is hit the options button, tweet. You'll see here it has my photo. Here's my description box and then I can type whatever I want. You can also add a location. I'll go ahead and cancel that since I'm not going to send that. One of the features I'm most excited about is camera. If you're like me and you love taking pictures on your iPhone, you will love these new upgrades. So 
One of the features that I have been waiting for for a long time is the camera shortcut button. And to access that, you just double click your home button. And you'll see here you have a little camera icon. If you click that, it takes you straight to your camera. Also, another feature I have waited for. Now, say you're taking a picture with your phone and you want to use the back camera and you have to try to fill around for the camera button, you can now use your volume button to snap a picture. It's as easy as that. You also have your options. You could turn on grid. And you could turn on HDR. There are a couple of things I forgot to mention. You can now pinch to zoom. And you can also touch to lock focus and exposure. And then you'll see here where it indicates that it is locked. Also, Apple has added some editing features in Photos. To access that, you just go to Photos. I'll go back to this picture. And then to edit, you just click the Edit button in the corner. Then you have four different options down at the bottom. You can rotate the image. You can auto-enhance the image. You can get rid of red eye. Let's go back to that. And you can crop the image. So these are just a few of the great features of iOS 5. Maybe we will be seeing more as it gets closer to the official release of iOS 5. So if you like this video, please thumbs up, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter, twitter.com slash 24 Thanks for watching, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.